What's up, everyone, and welcome to a Crush It TV tech tutorial. My name is James Thayer. I'm the executive producer for a production company in Nashville called Seek First Productions. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to use wire removal in After Effects. Recently, our company did a music video for an up-and-coming country artist named Connor Sweet. Uh, the name of his song being Young and Dumb. It's currently blowing up pretty, pretty well uh, in a Pepsi competition. And I wanted to show you the sort of before and after of this effect, just to give you a little taste of how such a simple effect can make such a big difference. Here is a shot uh, that we did out in the middle of nowhere. Um, basically in this scene we have all these kids pulling up in their cars. Uh, I say kids, I guess teens pulling up in their cars and uh, they're about to go to this like outdoor party um, rave in the middle of a field with a big bonfire. And uh, the shot is well composed. It looks really nice. It was shot on a F-35. Aside from you know all that great stuff, you have this wire in the frame. It's this telephone wire. Wire. It just goes all the way across, and it's sort of distracting. It takes away from uh, this country feel we're going for. We wanted this place to feel kind of remote. So you know, in addition to this, you have some other unsightly things. You have these cars back here. Um, which are part of crew and cast uh, cars. We didn't have anywhere else to park them, and so they're in the shot also. And uh, a later tutorial, I will show you how we removed these vehicles. But for this one, we're just going to stick with this wire. Let me show you real quick what the finished effect looks like uh, when you're done. Okay, so here we go. We have the same shot, but the wire is no longer there. Yeah, we have some little faint ones up here, um, but they just didn't bother me as much as that huge one we had um, beneath it. Just to sort of show you before and after. That's before, after, before, after. It opens up a lot of space, and you get that sort of wide open country feel just by removing a simple wire. So let's go through and let me show you exactly how, uh, using After Effects, you can get the same effect for any of your, your movies. Um, one huge application for this is if you are using wires to hold props. Um, it could be fishing wire, it could be uh, wires holding harnesses and people on harnesses, um, and you're wanting them to be floating in space, uh, lots and lots of uses. Uh, so this effect can go very far depending on how creative you want to be with it. Okay, so here's our, our main clip. We're going to drag it down. We're going to create a new composition. That little button's super handy. It allows you to um, make a composition with the right aspect ratio, uh, matching the footage that you just plopped in. Uh, one huge thing about VFX that's very helpful is typically the shots aren't very long that you need to make them on. Um, and if they are, make sure you charge your clients a buttload because every frame takes, you know, so much more time to do. Uh, so we're very fortunate this one's only about nine frames long. Okay, so enough messing around. Let's get right down to it. So over here in your effects and presets, you can type in wire. Uh, you'll see CC simple wire removal. Go ahead and plop that down on your footage. Now, how CCC, CC simple wire removal works is you have point A and point B over here. Um, obviously, point A is the beginning of the wire, point B is the ending of the wire. Uh, this is super easy for um, something like this pole over here. We can do A, and then we can do B, and it's pretty much a straight shot, so that's very nice. Um, you'll automatically notice at first, you see like going back and forth, you get this sort of like hazy phasing thing going on. Um, the reason it's not blotting out the entire pole is because your thickness is only two points. So you can crank that up, and ta-da, look, you have an invisible pole now. Um, obviously you kind of want to get it to where it uh, mirrors pretty well and seamlessly. Um, you know, that's way too big. <laughs> uh, but you know, sort of get it in there somewhere. And so if I wanted to, I could have gone through here and I could have removed this pole to and if you had never seen the before and after and it was zoomed out this far, you know, you probably wouldn't have been none the wiser. Um, at least you hope. You hope uh, nine frames people wouldn't notice this sort of glitchy looking thing over here. But you can adjust, you know, the slope. You can adjust everything to uh, the mirror blend until you get something that you like. Um, but I would not actually suggest using wire removal on something so large. 
because the mirror really uh, makes the effect a lot more noticeable um, whenever it, the thickness is too large. So we're going to undo that. I'm just going to make another one here. All right. So what I had to do is go in here um, and decide, all right, I have this wire and it is curving and that's kind of an issue. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. How I ended up doing it was basically going through and making multiple CC wire effects to get out the different areas of it. So you can increase this thickness and ta-da, it's gone. Um, you can mess a little bit with your mirror blending until you get something you like. <laughs> The good thing about this effect is like the further you pull out from it, the least, the less noticeable it will be. Obviously, if you're zoomed at very end, you can always see the difference. Um, so that's what I did. I went through and I made individual ones for each section of this slope. Um, but here you go. We have this issue where as the camera pans right, our um, wire is actually moving with it. Our wire removal is moving with it. So we have to fix that. The way I did it was by hand. Obviously you can go in here and you can track points. You can maybe find two points of these telephone poles and track it and try to apply this to a, a null object or something like that to get it to stick. I actually went through, twirled this down, go to effects, CC wire removal, and, uh, and turned on the uh, the tracking basically for these points, my keyframes. So I knew like at the end of the, the clip I wanted you know point A to be back here again and point B to be back here again. So I went through, made these this point these points right here, these were the initial ones. And so now it's staying a little bit better, you see? That's a little better. And what you can do is you can sort of like split the difference for your first one here. Push it down get it exactly how you want it, you know, move point B down. And uh, After Effects is awesome because if you hit this little timer, it'll actually record all your frames. So this is looking a lot better, actually. Now it's, it seems to be sticking in place. Um, could probably do a little bit better with that line right there. Um, but overall, you're never going to get something truly perfect whenever you are augmenting reality like this. See it sort of blip up a little bit right there? I don't want to go through and bring it back down, try to get rid of it. And so there you got like a whole section. And now you have this cable that's sort of floating in air, but that looks pretty good whenever you're zoomed out, right? It looks especially good whenever you're zoomed out to, you know, this view, which most people will be viewing it at. So you can go through and you can do each and every section of this like that. So let me just show you, turn back on my little sections now that we have this one all tracked in there by using keyframes. You know how that works. Uh, you can go back to my original one here and you'll see I have multiple wire removals on here. There's my first one, so that section's gone. And I can flip on my second one. I went through and keyed it and all the way through. You know, you can flip back off the final one. You can see that little bit right there. Just sort of floating in space and sort of moves, but you know, I went through and sort of tediously did each and every one, and sometimes you just have to do that. And in wire removal, especially if your line isn't straight, you're going to have to do that. So that's a tutorial on wire removal and After Effects. Uh, the finished product, if you are wondering, looks something like this. It's like about the third shot in the music video. And so you'll notice wire's gone and we actually removed all of these cars too. So that's actually a much more detailed tutorial that I will hit up in a couple weeks probably next time we post on Crush It TV's tech tutorials. Uh, until then, make sure you subscribe and uh, tell all your friends. Thank you very much.